1 Timothy 3.16 tells us that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. As believers, we often only think of Proverbs in terms of a book of wisdom for those who follow God. Here's a question for you though. Have you ever considered the book of Proverbs to be a portion of scripture that points people towards salvation? I know I never did until one day I heard an account of a man who became a believer in Christ because no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't find any fault in the wisdom of Proverbs. Because of that, he came to the conclusion that it must have been divinely inspired and later came to a full understanding of Christ and salvation. The book of Proverbs was the gateway that led him to desiring a relationship with Christ. Chapter 22 of Proverbs is no exception to this wisdom and knowledge that points us to the goodness of God's guidance throughout life. For a moment, let's look at verses 17 through 21. Incline your ear, hear the words of the wise, and apply your heart to my knowledge, for it will be pleasant if you keep them within you, if all of them are ready on your lips that your trust may be in the Lord, I have made them known to you today, even to you. Have I not written for you 30 sayings of counsel and knowledge to make you know what is right and true, that you may give a true answer to those who sent you? These verses tell us that we should apply the words of wisdom to our hearts so that they can always be ready on our lips. Wisdom, in turn, teaches us to trust in God and will give us knowledge as to what is right and true. The wisdom of Proverbs, and likewise the entirety of Scripture, is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. It guides us so we can live in a way that honors and glorifies God. Today, I want to encourage you to apply the wisdom of Proverbs to your heart and mind, and in doing so, it will act as a roadmap through life.